Hello, First Lego Week Challenge coaches and teams. My name is Devin Langley, and I am a proud First alum who participated in First programs, including First Lego League and First Robotics Competition for nine years. Now, I enjoy supporting First whenever and however I can, including in my home state through First Indiana Robotics. The goal of this presentation is to help teams create a fun, effective, and engaging innovation project presentation, and prepare teams to answer questions about their journey this season, and more specifically, about the problem they discovered and the solution that was designed to ensure that more people have accessibility to fitness and play. I know that presentations fall outside of the comfort zone for many, and that was certainly true for me before I got started on my first journey. But with some careful planning and a guide that I'll provide today, creating an effective presentation is a challenge I know, through the power of teamwork, you are ready and able to take on. I, for one, grew to love giving the innovation project presentation, and my team had great success with the method I describe here, and I wish that for all of you as well. So let's get started. It is very important to always stay focused on this season's challenge. You have five minutes to share your research finding with judges and express how research, how that research led you to discover a problem that you found interesting and important to address. Judges want to hear your story and the process you used to get you to competition day. They want to hear about what you uncovered that surprised you, who you met that inspired you, and what happened along the way that motivated you. You want to do this in a fun and creative way and we will talk more about ways you can do this towards the end of the presentation. But it's important that you don't let that get in the way of delivering a clear and focused message to the judges. A good way to do just that is to use the first LEGO League Challenge rubrics as a guide. The rubric can be found by going to the First Inspired's website and just typing in FLL Challenge rubrics. They will pop up under First LEGO League Challenge Season and Season Info. Make sure you are using the newly designed rubrics that look like the one on this page. The rubric is a helpful tool because by reading through it as a team, it can give great insight into what the judges want to glean from your presentation. And what you can't squeeze into your five minute presentation, you should be ready as a team to answer their questions during the five minute Q&A session with the judges. Your judges will also use that time to follow up with additional questions about topics you did address in your presentation that they would like to learn about in greater detail. One piece of advice I would like to share is to try and get all of your teammates involved in your presentation in some way, and be sure that everyone is able to answer a question if possible. This is a great way to show how you work together as a team, and it will give the judges insight about how you model the core values that all first programs take to heart. But as I mentioned before, if presenting is a greater challenge for some of your teammates, find creative ways to include everyone giving tasks like holding up photos, pointing out data, or acting out a skit, all of which might have fewer speaking parts, but still show involvement. And in the Q&A, you can plan ahead to have certain team members cover certain topics to help lighten the load. On this slide, you will see the first section of the rubric is called Identify. As a team, you need to clearly identify the problem you chose to solve during the replay season, and it should clearly relate to this season's challenge. The best way to get this across to the judges is to start at the beginning of your journey. So share a little bit about your research. Share something that you learned that really surprised you and led you to discover a problem that prevents people from staying active and fit in your community. And then be sure to clearly state the problem you addressed. I also think it's important to convey to the judges why this problem stood out to your team. Why did you want to invest your time to solve this problem? because that helps show that this is meaningful to you and you can convince the judges that it should be meaningful to them as well. After you have identified the problem, you need to keep your presentation moving to get to your solution because you want to have enough time to share all your details. As you can see from this section of the rubric, judges want to learn about the process that led you to choosing just one solution to develop. How did you generate ideas with your team? So, in other words, how did you brainstorm and how did you involve your teammates and allow everyone to express their ideas? How did you arrive at the very one you chose to pursue? And again, why is it meaningful to your teammates? The next thing you need to do is share how your team created and developed your solution. 
This is where you want to share any prototype or diagram that would help demonstrate how your solution helps others to be active and stay fit. This is a good opportunity to talk about how current solutions may have helped you to develop your idea. Maybe you improved upon a design or used a new technology that allowed the solution to be more effective and more innovative. Or maybe there are no current solutions to the problem you studied and you found a need that could be addressed for the very first time. The next section of the rubric addresses how you shared your idea with others. For example, with experts in the field that you studied. And how you collected feedback from these individuals to improve upon your idea. So tell the judges about opportunities you had to share your solution with others. Did they get excited about your idea? Did they offer helpful advice or feedback? Did they tell you about how they are currently addressing the same or a similar problem? Would they find your solution helpful to them? Maybe they encouraged you to consider things that would make your solution have an even stronger impact on others. Or maybe they helped you discover that you needed to pivot in some ways as you continue to iterate. These are really great stories to share with the judges. The last section of the rubric addresses how well you, as a team, communicate your innovative solution in a clear, organized, and engaging pre presentation. Be sure you allow enough time to practice your presentation. It helps if you can do this in front of others, virtually, or by sharing a recording, or even a copy of your script. Be sure others can clearly understand the problem you want to solve and how you came up with a solution to solve it. And be excited about your solution. You have most likely spent a lot of time developing it and have faced many challenges along the way. If you are excited about what you discovered and what you created, your audience will be too. And find ways that you can really engage the judges by making a fun and memorable presentation. There are lots of ways listed here, such as wearing costumes, creating a skit, and using props. But for me, the best thing you can do is make sure the judges know that this was a really meaningful experience for you. And you hope that your solution can have a positive impact on others. Because creating a solution that allows people accessibility to a more active lifestyle makes you a real game changer. And that is something we can all get excited about. That wraps up this presentation. I wish you the best of luck on your presentation. And I have to add that I truly admire that all of you persevered and took on the first Lego League Challenge season during what I know has been a very difficult year for all of us. Stay safe and have fun, everyone. Thank you.